everyone, I'm Ray and welcome to my channel. Today we have a scrawler box from October 2019 and I did get this spoiled for me a little bit which kind of bummed me out a tad but then the upside to it is that I'm really excited to get in the MC because some of the things I already do have but some of them are brand new so that's going to be interesting to say the least and one of them is like a really awesome sparkly pen and I mean I love sparkly stuff so that's always so much fun okay so let's crack into it Ooh. Ooh. Uh, oh. now I did see this already and I am so happy for this I mean it's purple which is amazing but it's also drawing with waffles well, drawing with waffles. So, as per usual, with all of the scrawler box stuff, it has all of their details down at the bottom, in case you haven't managed to hear of her, but she's really popular, so most people would have, I would imagine. So that's awesome. I'll put that up on my wall. We also get two pieces of paper, if I can get it out of the box. Save the good stuff until last. So, Originally, I thought this might have been Expressit blending card, but since then, I've also been spoiled, and I know that it's not that. It's actually paper by Canson, which we'll get into when we open up the little packet. So, here we go. Move this off to the side. Right then. Oh. Every single time I get one of these, I always try and open it nicely. And I always manage to rip it into pieces. <laughs> now, I'm one of the people that absolutely loves Parma Violets, so I'm going to eat those. <laughs> I know some people find that they taste like soap, which I've always found is kind of odd, but each to their own, I suppose. So here we have our sticker. Now, I did originally think it was glittery uh, when I was spoiled, but I see it's just kind of purple with the white over the top to make it look as if it's glittery. So it's still a really nice sticker, so must find somewhere nice to plop that one. Here we go, nice little menu. Here is Canson The Wall 220 GSM, revolutionary paper designed for graffiti artists. Resistant to alcohol markers, which might be a little bit of an issue with what we've got, seeing as we do have this little Copic Doodle Pack in purple. Now, this is the glittery pen that I am really excited to try <laughs> because it just, it just looks amazing. I've seen so many people use these and they always seem to just be super, super sparkly. So definitely excited for that one. And then we also have a Faber-Castell, Faber-Castell, two and a half. HB pencil, two and a half, I've never seen that before. Slightly strange. And then a Derwent paint pen, which I'm really excited for because at the moment, for all of my white highlights, I currently use this, which is a Uniball Signo Broad, which is good, don't get me wrong, I do love it. But the problem I have found is that with the tip at the end, it tends to bead up slightly. So then you have to scribble it off on a different piece of paper in order to get it flowing again which can be a bit of a pain in the butt so next one we have a lyra kneadable eraser so oh oh eh, oh there we go <laughs> here we go little gray oh that's so squidgy Ooh. i do have one of these i have a i think it's a stutler one comes in a little um, metal case which is handy because these things pick up dust like you would not believe <laughs> they're just everywhere but this one feels super squishy definitely excited for this one because the one I have is quite stiff which is handy for if you want to be making tiny little points to erase really fine details but if you want to be erasing large blocks of colour or anything like that it's kind of difficult to get it into the sort of malleable form whereas this one is well I mean it is super stretchy <laughs> so 
and then I suppose once you've done it and you've used it you can just pop it back into the square and all is well and good hmm. definitely happy with that and then the last thing which again I was spoiled with but I was super excited for is this little scroller box pin because this was their 50th box so it looks really nice as well really well made and it's got a metal clasp on the back which I prefer those to the, the rubber ones I find that they grip better but maybe that's just me definitely going to pop that one onto my backpack okay now I know things have changed I did pause it just to unwrap this one because I always struggle with that plastic wrap and I really didn't think you'd appreciate me sitting here going ah oh, desperately trying to unlock it so let's get on to swatching all of the things start with the pencil because pencil hmm. put down a bit of flat color so we can see how the eraser will pick it up and whether or not it can pick up any sort of hard lines let's get out our little beluga blob so here we go oh wow I mean that did amazing on that so definitely happy with that one I think it's supposed to pick up with this but so you don't damage the paper as much I mean it's done a pretty decent job there as well you can see a little tiny bit where I really pushed down hard but all in all impress now here we go these are the Copic Chow markers they do have the same brush nip as the Copic sketch markers but they are slightly smaller so they don't hold as much ink it's also got a chisel nib on the other end now I'm one of these people that doesn't really like the chisel nibs <laughs> I find them really like scratchy but I guess for large areas so this one is BV00 which is mauve shadow Ooh, it's quite a pretty color and you can also get some really nice feathery effects with the brush and then we have BV04 which is blueberry hmm, nice oh that's a lot darker you can see it kind of feathers out towards the end now then the true test Ooh, not even a hint of ghosting that's impressive <laughs> As somebody who's got quite a lot of um, alcohol markers, I use quite a few of them in my sketchbook and I always have to put a sheet of paper behind to make sure that it doesn't bleed through. So I might save this swatch paper and use that so it can soak up the rest of it. Let's see if we can actually blend these together. I'm a bit sceptical, only because there's such a large colour variation. Um, but you never know. I mean that is taking a lot of ink and that paper's taken some abuse there but that's that is not at all maybe if we sort of feather it maybe I mean the feathery one looks better but I don't think they're blending amazingly on this but it, wow okay so I really layered that with all of the alcohol ink and there was nothing so impressed now do I do my favorite sparkly one first or do I do the liner hmm let's do the liner so this is a Copic multi-liner in wine in 0 0.3 mm. 
Oh wow, that's like a needle point. That's so tiny. Oh, it's a lovely colour though. It's got a really steady ink flow too. <laughs> and obviously they work over the top of the top of the copics. Work over the top of the copics. <laughs> See if we can it says it's copic proof and I would imagine it would be considering that it's made by the same company, but just in case. Yep, no bleeding at all. Nice. Oh. So this is a At You Spiker, Twinkling Like Stars, number two pink. And it says it's water-based pigment ink, so definitely different. Oh, look at that nib. Very strange. Oh wow, that, <laughs> that is super sparkly. Put it down, see if I can get it to wiggle so you can see. Not sure if it's picking up on camera just how super sparkly this is, <laughs> but that is super sparkly. Definitely going to be one of my favourites. <laughs> So next one is the Derwent paint pen. I'm assuming this is going to be like a Posca pen. So it certainly looks like it. Shake well, depress for 10 seconds and wait. Mm. Maybe you have to pump it like a Posca pen. Ah, there we go. Obviously you can't see anything on the way. Ooh. I mean, that is a pretty opaque. Let's work over the top of this one. Does it have any sparkles left over? <laughs> Hmm. Wow. You can see just how sparkly that is. It's so nice. Definitely impressed with that, the opaqueness, as long as it doesn't get all bumpy and gross, <laughs> for want of a better word, that the uh, Uniball one does, and that might actually take over. Hmm. Impressed. Now then, let's have a look what we get for the prompt word. Dressed to the nines. Hmm. So I'm thinking somebody in, well, a great big fancy dress maybe. Hmm. We shall see.
to make. Uh, I did run into a few issues, which were, as much as I was using this to swatch, it didn't seem to be quite as bleedy as it actually was. I did all my line art and then you can see it's all sort of bled out of the lines especially around the face so in the end I ended up going for a bit more of a cartoony sort of grungy type look just purely to work with the fact that every time I would put down a line it would just bleed around the edges I'm not sure if you can see but when I'm trying to fill in line art I generally tend to go slower so it was just soaking and soaking and soaking and feathering all of the way out but other than that I really really like this one <laughs> I really love this pen. It's so sparkly. But this one, I also had the same issue with the bleeding. It was just, as much as I was going quickly on the swatch sheet, when I was really trying to get down and do some of the lining, especially around the face, it just seemed to bleed and bleed and bleed. So in the end, I just gave up and tried to go as quick as possible. But then the line art tends to be shaky. But it is what it is. I think... With different paper, I would have enjoyed it a bit more if it wasn't so absorbent. But, I mean, you can't really fault the paper with the fact that there's no ghost in and there is no bleed through whatsoever. But, yeah, I had fun. So, all in all, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!